hello what's up youtube in this video i'll show you this common mistake most people tend to do when it comes to using the lasso tool when they're doing frequency separation and it is for those that use the lasso tool as the only and initial skin retouching method using frequency separation and also those that prefer to use both the mixer brush tool and the lasso tool as techniques in combination to have better results when it comes to using frequency separation as a skin retouching technique so this may be something that is going to be simple but it is usually misused because if at all you don't notice this you may end up having those very ugly lines when you try to use the lasso tool when it comes to that step for using the lasso tool so i'm going to come and quickly come right here to my action and i'm going to play my 16-bit action and simply let it run right here and i'm going to be using a radius of seven so it is at this point when you determine the amount of textures that you want to remain within the image so you have to move this up to the point when you're just starting to lose out on the details but you can still notice the other facial structures so after doing that just come and hit ok and my action is just con is just going to continue running rather and usually i'm going to assume most of you have reached this step for or in your retouching process you have reached the step by you have to use the lasso tool and you make selections on the skin so the mistake i tend to do or to see most people do is <coughs> leaving this at or leaving the feathering at zero pixels so let me just show you how it is so after selecting the low frequency layer right here most of you just come right here and you make a selection without taking into consideration the feathering so let me show you this so right now when the feathering is at zero pixels it means the edge is going to be very sharp so you have to take this into consideration so the lower the feathering the higher or the more sharper the edge is going to be of your selection and the higher the pixels or the higher the pixels in the feathering the more smooth the edges of your selection are going to be so let me just show you this in practical so i'm just going to come to filter and usually we come to blur and come to gaussian blur then we take the radius up the point when you're just starting to get the best out of or the best skin detail out of the image and we simply hit ok and this is what we have so if at all i'm just to zoom in to this image right now i don't know if at all you can notice these lines right here just look at the lines it has created on the edges of our selection so that is the disadvantage of having a very low feather or a very low pixel feathering radius of your lasso tool i'm just going to undo that by hitting ctrl command z and i show you this in real time or practically so when i come on my keyboard and i click on q you can see that this is very sharp and that is the reason as to why it creates those lines or sharp lines after i applied your gaussian blur on your images so i'm just going to hit or press q again to undo or hide that mask so i'm just going to undo everything right here so that i can show you the best way to do this so with the new selection mode activated and make sure and alias has been selected make sure to use a feather that is slightly above 18 or between 18 and 22 pixels so let me show you that practically I'm just going to type in 22 and hit enter so when you come and you make a selection on the skin area right here with a feather of around 22 pixels and you just come and make that nice and beautiful selection you can see this selection if at all i hit q again on the keyboard you can see that this is a more smoother selection you can see how smooth the edges of the selection are as opposed to what we had when we had zero pixels in the feathering so i'm just going to hit q again to hide the mask so when i come and i apply my gaussian blur radius right here i'm just going to be using the same and i simply hit ok and i deselect this you can see right now you can't see those ugly 
lines that were as a result of uh, the selection that we made on the skin area of our subject so even if we just come right here and we apply the same radius you can see it doesn't leave that annoying line but when we take the feather back to zero and we come and we choose maybe a different area i'm just going to hit zero and hit enter so we apply it on this area and we apply the gaussian blur on that area and we deselect that area i'm just going to zoom in slightly you can see this annoying line that has been created so usually most people that i tend to see it comes maybe when they come to work on edges that are close to maybe right here or on the edges of the skin they tend to really have those artifacts that are going to be created so always make sure to take your feather at around 18 to 22 pixels and you'll have a very nice a nice and smooth edge out of your selection so the feather of zero pixels is going to create sharp edges if at all i hit q you can see how sharp this is and a slightly higher feathering of around 18 to 22 pixels i'm just going to type in 22 is going to create a smooth selection and it is not going to leave those annoying lines out of your selections when you're using the lasso tool in frequency passion so i just hope and i just wanted to enlighten and put this across so this is it for this story and if at all you found this helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing stories and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating